there truly is a place to sell anything in this world. Who thought of this, you know? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not someone who eats kiwi all the time. This might be the start of me eating kiwi. The actual gadget comes with a little knife, a little tiny serrated knife. So we're gonna cut the kiwi because this is what it's supposed to be for. How did that tiny knife do such a sleek cut? So if this works, we should be able to place this inside the kiwi and scoop it out in one go. So, are you kidding me? Look at this. Wait, how does it fit perfectly? I don't think you guys understand. Is every kiwi exactly the same size? And now we're going to turn it. Stop, I, I refuse to believe. I refuse. No, 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 no. There is no way this is as good as I think it is. Look at this. But most importantly, Look at this. There is like zero waste. That literally happened in three seconds. This is one of the most effective genius gadgets I've ever used. I have no words. Three seconds from beginning to end. Look at this. I'm gonna cut the kiwi. We're gonna press this little thing inside. Twist. And that's it. Are you kidding me? Look how thin this is. How is this even possible? It is literally perfect. It is so smooth and it comes out all in one go. And sliced already. I might start eating kiwi. This is fruit witchcraft. I have no words. This gadget is one of the most mind blowing items I've ever used. Tiny, cheap, highly effective. Please gift this to people in your life this Christmas to spread some holiday joy with $2 and an AliExpress account. An electric dumpling maker. And a tiny brush. This is USB powered, which is a great thing. Once you switch it on, you can also switch it off. Or I'm an idiot, but that's kind of what I've figured out. So what happens is you press it on and there's gonna be a countdown of nine seconds. That's how long you've got to prepare your dumpling. Nine seconds and... And then nine seconds start again. Every time you make a dumpling, you're like running against the clock. Or the whole thing is ruined. This is a terrible idea for a product. I love it. Here goes nothing. Nine seconds in three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> this is... Okay, so this was our first automated dumpling. The good thing is we got a good size and it's perfectly sealed. So we did that part correctly. I just need to be careful about the filling because this is not ideal. My goal is to make the six remaining dumplings all in one go. And I'm gonna just rotate the plate as I'm done because that is the whole point of this. It's automated. You're supposed to be quick, not take a million years. Three, two, one. Just one scoop is enough. And then brush. And then the next one. And rotate, next one. One scoop is enough, and brush. Rotate, next one. Oh my God. One scoop, wet. That was not meant to happen. Why does it do a 360? Oh no. I need to get it wet. Why is this sticking? I know the filling. Uh, I forgot to rotate the plate. Oh my God, this feels like a cooking mom in real life. Wait, did I just fill this up with water? <laughs> what am I doing? Um, the automated dumpling maker is an interesting product. In the end, we got this beautiful plate. <laughs> 
This was the result we got from the automated dumpling maker. It's what they like to call an avant-garde presentation. But I will say one thing, most of them are filled and they are here. Who's laughing now, you know? Honestly, not me. After I spent the money and then I have to look at this, <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna be laughing for a long time. I'm joking and I'm being dramatic, but I honestly think I could get good at this. This was the easiest way to make dumplings that I think I've ever used. I needed five more seconds per dumpling. A 15 second time break, that would have been still efficient and just better for me. So it is approved. I made a dumpling, which is not something that I've ever said before. Okay, okay, if you're asking if it was a necessary purchase, uh, I don't really have an answer for you, buddy. But if you're asking if I think everybody on this planet just needs one of them, the answer's a little obvious. This is a very strange device. So this is like a pump, I think, in the bottom, and then you kind of just attach this to any kind of bottle. Voila, your own little drink machine. So it also needs batteries. Two double A batteries, or is it a triple A? Double A. In reality, I would use this in the morning for like iced coffee. Like I would get some milk and then just put some coffee on top of the milk. This is genius. So I kind of wanted to try this with some oat milk. Now that I'm thinking of it, it might not fit in here. Nope, it doesn't fit in here. So you gotta be mindful of that. Like. The aliens when they try to use this on my... Anyways, some jokes that are left and old. What do we try it on? I think the best thing will be the Pepsi. I think this is what most people would use it for because you want to have your DIY McDonald's fountain machine. So we're going to use it on this. It doesn't fit either. What about the innocent smoothie? Innocent? Not so much after this. <laughs> we can't keep that in. I mean, we shouldn't. But can we? Yeah. Okay, let's put this on the innocent smoothie. And that is it. It is literally made for this. Like this product could have been made by their own brand. Is there a way to make this like, oh, wait a minute. Gotta push this in as much as you can. That looks like I want to clean the windows with innocent smoothie. Okay, imagine you wake up, you're like thirsty. You want a little drink. This is the greatest thing I've ever used. Are you kidding me? Not me going to taste it to see if it tastes the same. This is incredible. It is so fast. It is so satisfying. And the flow of it, it's almost too strong. The only thing is this does not fit in every single type of container. Like for example, I have to buy an oat milk that kind of comes in one of these type of containers, which I'm sure it exists. So it's not really that much of a problem. Oatly, you're out, officially. You were my trusty oat milk for the past three days. And that was enough. Life-changing. This is a great Christmas present. I am obsessed. I, I will literally be here all night. Cheers. One thing I have noticed over the years of making many videos about gadgets is People hate peeling off onions. The amount of gadgets to peel off an onion or cut it up is like insane. So this one is a vegetable chopper, but specifically this is mostly an onion chopper. I don't like this. I don't like the build of it. It's very hard to put together. The whole thing is peeling off. It's made of plastic, but we're still gonna use it. So how do we even do this? So there's like a blade here that sort of comes out. And this is a little container where everything goes. The quality build of this, it's giving Polly Pocket. It's giving that. And I also hate the fact that I still have to cut this stupid onion, you know? I still have to remove the outside, otherwise we're gonna blend the skin and everything. So immediately, I hate this. This is what happens when you put negative energy into the universe. So I'm gonna just remove the outer layer because obviously this is not going to take care of that. I am not very good at cooking, right? I can dice this up, give me one minute, I will fully dice this. And I don't have a lot of skills, so I don't really think there's a need for this. But I'm still gonna, we're still gonna try it. Let's put the full onion in here. And then this, this already doesn't fit. So immediately, you can only do half an onion at a time. And now putting this together is perhaps the most annoying part because it does not wanna work. Okay, it worked. <laughs> 
I'm trying so hard to be a hater. Let's see what happens when we press this. Nothing! Wait, maybe we should try this on a surface. Do you see this? It is literally stuck. <laughs> I don't know what went flying. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. The blade, it's stuck in there. Um, this is broken. There was a spring in here. There's no longer a spring in here. Talk about spring break. <laughs> you know what? I broke this. This, it, this was already not approved. <laughs> I put so much negativity into the air that I broke the damn gadget. I'm proud of myself. Sometimes we just need to be like that. Don't come with judgment. We've all been there. A donut maker. My thing with this is, this is not the size of a donut. I mean, this is really cute, I'm gonna be honest. I love miniature things, but this is not the size of a regular donut. So calling this a donut maker, like it says on the box, a stretch. I'm still gonna plug this in and hopefully this doesn't explode. Honestly, with some of these, that was scary. I thought it would for a second. So this is on now. Oh, I should have probably wiped this. I just wanna check if there's any dust from the factory. I know this sounds crazy, right? But over the years, when I buy gadgets, I am suspicious that I've been eating factory worker dust. Dead skin cells belonging to other people. No offense to those people, but like, I think I've been eating it. Okay, the good thing is it doesn't take a lot of batter. That is a positive. Okay. I'm basically gonna fill them all the way to the top because once we close this, they're gonna become like a full donut. I don't want this to be half a donut, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go all the way. And this is my very last one. And then I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. No, I won't. I was just lying. I was gonna switch off the camera and just hope for the best. <laughs> Why did I lie? Me when I lie. This was surprisingly easy to use and because they are tiny, you fill them up really quickly. I hope that when I close this, these become 3D. Like I want this to rise all the way to the top so that this becomes like a donut. Let's find out. I will tell you how long it's been. I'm gonna give it like, what, 10 minutes? If this takes longer than 10 minutes, they can keep it. I don't want it. I don't wanna be dramatic, but this is sizzling a little bit too much for donuts. This took like three minutes. If these are ready, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be speechless. I'm gonna be eating donuts. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Donut reveal, are they cooked in three minutes? <laughs> oh wait, cause they look pretty good. I wouldn't call them fully cooked yet. It needs maybe one more minute, I think. It has been a full five minutes now, so I'm gonna check if they are. Oh, we're so, so close now. They look good. I hate to say it, I was ready to be a hater, but you know when I'm reaching for the chopsticks, I'm ready for a little buffet. I'm gonna say that these are finally ready. I mean, they look pretty incredible. I am a little bit scared they're going to collapse, but I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna use chopsticks because I don't wanna ruin them with a fork. I'm just gonna poke them until they come out, okay? That is our first donut. I will say one thing, this is half a donut. This is exactly what I said was gonna happen. It's really difficult to make a dough that kind of rises all the way to the top. It will always collapse. In my opinion, a real donut should be fried. This was gonna be like a close second and a close second it is. And if you saw a picture of this, you'd be like, wow, these look incredible. And then you see this next to my hand and you're like, these look incredibly tiny. I'm gonna get some of this like a vanilla frosting. So I'm gonna get some sprinkles in a bowl. Cause you know, making donuts without sprinkles is like making tea without water. That was strangely beautiful. You're welcome. Oh, you can't frost something when it's warm. Oh, that's a great time to find this out. Wish I knew that 10 seconds ago. I really thought, you know, I just need a little bit of wetness so I can do this. This is all I really want here. That looks really, really cute. So I'm gonna do this for every single one of them. These are really cute. I just changed my mind in real time. I'm just gonna use the leftover in my fingers. I'm the only one eating this. Stop harassing me in the comment section. Why do I reply? 
to hate comments that haven't existed yet. This is truly a skill that I have. Never a dull moment inside my head. This is my very last one to frost, so I'm still frosting the flat side. I will say the donuts feel really soft in a nice way. And then there it goes into the sprinkles. And in the end, you get this. You know the Homer Simpson pink sprinkle donut? That in a miniature version. First of all, I'm not crazy about sprinkles. I don't know why I did this. This was a dumb idea. And it might be my batter, because it was kind of like a pancake batter, cake batter kind of situation. It basically, it's a baked donut. That's what I'm trying to say. It tastes like a baked donut that you made in the oven. If that's something that you like, great, buy this. If you're like me and you prefer a fried donut, you'd be a little bit disappointed. Now, if you told me these are tiny miniature cakes with a hole in it, whole cakes, oh, then I'd eat it. The cheese grate that everyone's raving about. It has a little sticky sucker thing at the bottom, so you can suction it and it don't move. Let's just go in there. Let's see how it comes out. Oh gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh! I absolutely hate grating cheese. Look at that. Tabletop drum grater, whatever that means. Right. No pun intended. So this is the main mechanism and then it comes with three different types of uh, grating options. So you can use this for vegetables, cheese, which is what I'm going to mostly use it for, and peanuts. There's peanuts on the box. I don't know how you can shred a peanut. Let me think about it. That's beyond the capabilities of my brain. The first one I want to test is the regular one. This is kind of how when you get a cheddar cheese that's been shredded from the supermarket. I don't think this is exactly cheddar, but it's a very similar like not too soft, but definitely not a hard kind of cheese. So I'm gonna get a slice. A slice? This is more than a slice. Me when I say I'm going for a light snack. I want this to look like the kind of cheese you buy from the supermarket, like your classic mozzarella, cheddar. Does it work? No, it doesn't. There's a child protection on it. It's a really simple mechanism. You put the vegetable or the cheese on here and then you spin it yourself. Will it shred? Um, yes, it will. Really quickly, actually. I don't even need to hold it. Look, it just stays in place. That is so satisfying. Look at this. That was so quick. You know when people say that you should never buy cheese that is pre-shredded? Well, maybe they have one of these because that is easier than opening a packet of cheese. That was so, so quick. That looks exactly like the shredded mozzarella or cheddar you buy from the supermarket. For this use, 100% approved. It even separated whatever this is. She's rind. And when you're done, you just press the button and this slides right off for cleaning. This is when I get ambitious. I want to get like a Parmesan shaving. You know when you get those fancy Parmesan shavings? I want one of those. I should probably have Parmesan for this, but I have Pecorino. Pecorino is the sibling. They went to university and not community college. That's Pecorino. I have no idea how we're going to transform this into those kind of fancy shavings that you see uh, like when you go to Publix or like any kind of fancy supermarket, you kind of see that in packages. I want that. So is this gonna work? Probably not. Here comes our Pecorino shavings. Is it working? This one is more difficult. You really have to press it down. Wait, are you kidding me? It was this easy all along? Look at the quality of these. This is double, triple approved. I don't even need to test this any longer. Please save money, buy one of these and then buy the actual blocks of cheese because this takes no time. In fact, this is fun. This is life changing. This is also, by the way, a great Christmas gift to anyone who loves cheese, which is practically everyone. Put a piece of chicken on here. If it doesn't work when I pull it up, I'm gonna be pissed. Giant chicken breast. Just slapped it right on there. Look at that plate. Do you know how long that would have taken me? This is a meat shredder, so you're supposed to put the meat in here and then shred it. Should place the whole thing? I guess we're gonna press it in. We probably don't even need to do this part. And now it's got these little forks on top as well, so we're going to basically... Oh, this chicken ain't singing tomorrow morning ever again. 
This chicken said, sorry vegans. I don't like this either. So now we're going to... I can't tell if anything is working. There's a lot of resistance. Let's see. Shred chicken reveal. I don't know what's going on here. Um, anyways, should we try this again? It's just not moving, look. Okay. Oh, it's working now. So it's just the first spin is probably the most difficult one, but actually it's not too difficult anymore. It's shockingly easy. Okay, let's not go that far. Let's go. The chicken is like, are you for real? Let me get to heaven, please. It smells very chickeny all of a sudden, so I know something is going on here. If this worked, this should be shredded pole chicken. This is incredible. I did not think it was that shredded. Wait a minute. Are you for real? This is perfect for when I make food for my dog. The amount of times I'm there pulling chicken so he doesn't choke because I forgot to teach him how to chew three years ago and now it's too late. Wait, this is an incredible product. It's just a simple plastic mechanism and it just works. You can mince anything with this. I actually have no words. This is such a good product. The only thing is sometimes you get little pieces of skin they kind of just stay there. But if you ignore those, like three pieces, it's not a big deal. In like three or four spins, we went from this to this. With just two pieces of plastic, this is 100% approved, a great gadget. This looks a little bit too complicated for me. I don't believe this. I really don't. Look at this. How, why is mine already doing this? Me switching on the Christmas lights for the year in my house. I have made some sushi rice myself. I'm gonna fill both of them up with sushi rice. Okay, so this is kind of the amount of rice that we got to. And now we're going to use this little stick to create the space for the filling. I hope this makes any sense. I'm sure it does. Okay, so I guess we put this in. Do we close it or do we just create that little gap? Something tells me we don't have enough rice. Let's do a little bit more rice. I feel like this needs to be really full. So I'm gonna make a little hole, like indentation in the center. The good news is rice really doesn't stick to this. So you are able to get that. I find that pretty impressive, but it's too soon. Now that we've got two little holes in there, we are going to basically fill them up with cucumber. I think this is good. This is kind of where we're at with the cucumber. I also have some chicken. One of my favorite types of sushi is with fried chicken. I know that sounds like a crime against so many cultures. It probably is, but the heart wants what it wants, and the heart wants a bowl of rice with some fried chicken. <laughs> Chef tax. So I'm gonna place the chicken in as well. This is my favorite ingredient, so I'm very excited. Like, this is going to be a very full sushi. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> One thing about cucumbers is it will slide. That is it. So now, if we close this, this is going to become sushi. I don't believe this, but we're gonna do it. Here goes nothing. <laughs> that is going to be the most filled sushi roll ever. Oh my God, it's literally bursting. This gotta close. That is it. This looks like a torpedo. It also feels like it, like the, the rice is rising. <laughs> the pressure is getting real. So here we've got our very first atomic bomb running exclusively on starch. <laughs> this feels like it's going to explode. It's really weird. So if I got this done correctly, we should be able to roll this out into a sheet of, uh, what do you call this? Not me forgetting what this is called. Okay, this should be the right size, correct? Okay, one would probably be enough. Ah, it'll be fine. Okay, it is definitely not as easy as they promised, but I mean, it is here nevertheless. It is a log of sushi rice. I'm gonna roll this and 
I mean, that kind of did work. I'm not gonna lie. I hate that this works. So now we gotta trim the excess. First of all, this way. Um, you know what? A little bit of extra seaweed never hurt nobody. Let's just roll with it. Maybe I can just use scissors for this. I think this is a first on my YouTube channel. We've successfully made sushi somehow. This is a sushi roll that you can hold. If this was successful, we should be able to cut a perfect sushi. <laughs> this is literally perfect. That looks, <laughs> it looks like restaurant quality. This is 100% approved. I cannot believe I did this. This is literally perfection. It's got cucumber, it's got double, triple fried chicken. This is a pretty decent portion. I'm gonna slice this entirely. The trick here is to keep wetting your knife. I promise you, if you do that, it will all be fine. I don't even know where I picked up that little nugget of information. I mean, I don't even know what to tell you. I did not think I had this capability to do this. As it turns out, I can make a perfect sushi roll. I cannot believe I'm about to say this. I made the most beautiful, perfect plate of sushi rolls. These are so legit, I don't think you understand. This machine that I don't even know where it is, there's like a million pieces going on, it's life-changing. You will be able to make homemade sushi. People are gonna think you're on some next level of cooking, and in reality, you just press things like a literal three-year-old. I wasn't prepared for this. I was so sure this was gonna fail. I have no soya sauce. I have no wasabi. This is so sad right now. Are you kidding me? I made those. I'm gonna order 10 of these. Actually, I'm gonna gatekeep these. This video might never be posted. So this is our spice pan, and I'm gonna say the design of it and the size of it is actually pretty incredible that they can make something so tiny. I'm going to fill it up with cinnamon because I'm making a message on top of my cappuccino. So I'm gonna fill this up with some cinnamon. The batteries are right next to where you fill it up with cinnamon, so... Is that potentially dangerous? Maybe. You could accidentally fill up your latte with battery juice. Finally, I'll be able to feel something. This is pretty full, so I'm gonna put the the lid on it. And you can also use like black pepper and then use this for something savory. I think that would be weird. I do not have a milk frother. I have lost my milk frother. I have no idea where it is. So I'm going to froth it by hand. So I'm gonna add the coffee powder. These are usually quite foamy. Let's see if they become foamy. Okay, it's, it's getting kind of foamy. Nobody, my ancestors trying to make fire, watching me use this technique to test out my spice pen. This works, I am a genius. Ancestors, you are welcome. And now using my spice pen... Are you kidding me? Why is he coming out already? Let's do a drawing on here. Oh no, it is working. Using my spice pen, I'm going to write a message. It's just a heart. Oh, that doesn't look very good. I mean, is this the same as latte art? Not really. No, it's not. It really isn't. This also is not the best. <laughs> In case you're interested, this is USB charged, which is incredible. That means you don't need to buy batteries for this. And also, the design of it is pretty sleek. I mean, it's pretty simple, but it's pretty sleek. And you press the button and... It sounds like someone being tortured. Perfect for wine. A great pairing. I'm gonna open this bottle of wine. This was a very expensive wine. I mean, I don't know how much wine costs, but I was kind of shocked. But this was the only one that didn't need one of those... How do you call those? those little tools to open wine. I don't own one of those. So this is actually perfect, and this is not like the biggest bottle of wine, but this is the perfect size for this. So we're going to put this in. It's a little bit loose. I wish there was something to make this a little bit tighter. Let's say you get home from work, a very stressful day, people really had you. Through it in caps lock, you need something to relax. So you go to the fridge, you're like, no, it's too much work to pour my own bottle of wine. So you just press this little button. <sighs> Can you 
keep it coming. I mean, you had a bad day, remember? You have to keep that in mind. I'm like, we're not even close. Wow. That bottle is really... Wow, now I finally understand sipping away like a bottle of wine. That was, that went really quick. This is an incredible gift to give to somebody. I mean, if anyone in your life likes drinking, <laughs> this would be a great present for them. I'm sure this is something they don't own yet. And this one specifically is best for wine because just the design of it just looks like something you put on top of a bottle of wine. So cheers. I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm gonna drink this. No, it's not for me. But maybe one day, you know? Maybe one day I'm gonna be put through it. Not the DIY dumpling making station. This is incredible. Also comes with one of these little spatula. Oh, to get it out. Oh, they really thought of everything. I love when they anticipate the problems that I haven't had yet. We got some dough and we're gonna try this out. I'm gonna be really real right now really vulnerable. After the automated one, there's no way I would ever use this. We're still gonna give it a try. You put a little piece of uh, dough here and we're going to flatten it down. Okay, you might need to do this vertically, which I wasn't expecting. Um, this whole thing is falling apart. It's not the most amazing shape, but as long as it doesn't stick, which it doesn't, I guess that's all that matters. Let's do it one more time. And the whole thing is falling apart, but this is made of plastic. I mean, what else are you expecting? This is... <laughs> it literally broke. This is fine. Let's just put it back on. It keeps on falling. <laughs> this is literally broken. I can't do it anymore. Every time I try to press it, it just sticks. Maybe we need a little bit of oil or something to make this better. But that kind of worked. Now onto this side, I'm just going to place it. Oh, that broke. I'm not giving up yet. So let's try to make a dumpling with it. At least one, one dumpling. If this can produce one dumpling, I will be surprised at this point. <laughs> Even the microwave has given up. Microwave is like, peace, see you later. Okay, so I'm going to do the filling in the center. Not too much, because this machine is a little temperamental. And then we're going to close this. And hopefully this will make our dumpling. Um, even if we remove the excess, is it the prettiest dumpling? No, there's weird patches and strange things going on, but mostly because this part here doesn't work. Because this part is broken, it just comes off every time you press it. It doesn't really look pretty in the end, so don't buy this. Whoever made these videos on TikTok, you have a very special place in hell. When you arrive, there's going to be a little VIP section exclusively made for you for getting all your followers to spend money on something that is literally two pieces of plastic and a dream put together. And not even a good dream. This is a waste of money. Now let me scrape this off so this can slide into my trash can a little easier. At first I thought, why do I need another gadget to make popcorn in the microwave? You can just buy a microwave popcorn bag. But then it occurred to me that you can add butter on top and as it cooks, the butter will slowly melt at the right time into the popcorn. I've got some microwavable popcorn. I just opened the bag and this one is sweet and then I'm gonna make it savory so all together it's gonna be salty and sweet. So this is gonna go in here. I'm gonna shake it. I really like the design of this. I think it's really cute. It just makes me feel like I've got a job at the circus. I kind of got a job at the circus. Wow, that is the biggest life realization I've ever had in front of a camera. Hello therapist, it's me. So I'm gonna add a little bit of butter on top because I want it to melt as the popcorn cooks. That is the only reason why I want this. So I know if there's gonna be a buttery flavor in there, it's gonna come from the Kerrygold. Let's do half of this. I think that's a good amount. I mean, it is popcorn, you know? Don't judge me. So you put the butter on here. So this is gonna go in the microwave and I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it's done. I'm guessing three minutes. It looks really good. Like this just, I don't know. It's kind of like, there's like a 90s vibe to it. I cannot really explain. As you can see, all the butter melted from it. And oh my God, it smells like butter from the, the cinema, you know? It smells like those fountains of butter they've got at the cinema. That's what this smells like. I'm going to give it a try. 
that is very delicious. I could have done double the butter. I was so worried that you guys were judging me through the screen. I actually wanted to do the whole amount of butter and I would have been correct. Good thing is you can always add more butter, I guess. Let's see if it's better blended now. Oh, that is so crispy. This is literally straight out of the movie theater. It's salty, sweet. This makes all the difference. I'm not the biggest fan of popcorn, especially made at home. It needs to be really, really good. And for me to be telling you that this gadget is worth it, it really is. So if you know anybody who's a big fan of movies, what about this? This is the ideal gift for your movie loving acquaintances. This is a pretty cool design because you basically get to save some space. And also this is supposed to make it easier for washing, but actually now that I look at it, it doesn't really make that much difference, the amount of space. My whole thing is, this doesn't feel sturdy, it doesn't feel like it's going to work. So what is the ultimate test for a whisk? Whipping cream. A whisk is not good, a whipping cream is not going to whip, or it will take 10 minutes, which means I will give up five minutes in. So this should whip in three minutes, according to the instructions. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna put the cream in here. And let's see if this will whip. Whoa, I hate this. This feels so wrong. That does not feel like a real whisk. No, immediately no. I don't even care if this whisks. I hate the feeling of this. This feels like I'm touching the whipped cream with a stick. That is kind of what it feels like. It does not feel like I'm fluffing up anything. It's not putting air into it. This is a terrible whisk. This is why you can reinvent anything because most stuff is already invented. This is so stupid. I don't even think this makes it that much easier to clean up. Maybe, it doesn't matter, it doesn't work. I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded. Just give me a second, I'm not joking. The good news is I was able to whip this. I mean, I could even make it a little bit further, but I think this is like a perfect creamy kind of consistency. I hate that it worked. I would go as far as saying as good as a normal whisk. Maybe I was wrong, you know, maybe just because it feels so light and flimsy. I didn't like that it felt so light, but actually when it comes to functionality of it, it's unfortunately a slight. So this is supposed to make it easy for you to scrape it all off. And it kinda does. I hate that it does. <sighs> I still think I'm old school and I would like my metal whisk, my trusty, rusty, <laughs> trusty and rusty. Uh, yeah, this is not for me, but it's a great idea. I kinda recommend it, strangely. And you can use it on strawberries, eggs, mushrooms, but I primarily use it for strawberries. Are you ready? Watch. Short work. I'm gonna try mine with grapes. I feel like this would be ideal for either grapes or strawberries because it's quite small, like the blades. Let's see if it works. So let's imagine you need to slice up some grapes for some reason. I've never needed to do that. So I'm gonna put the grapes all in here. So let's start with the first one. Okay. Maybe, let's see, they're going somewhere, they're all disappearing. I think in the end it kind of works. Oh yeah, these are sliced, a lot of it gets stuck in here. Wish this was a little bit sharper, but nevertheless, we did chop up some grapes. This is probably not the best use for it, especially because these grapes have seeds on them. And I also can think of a scenario in which you need a perfectly chopped slice of grape, maybe for a grape salad. It does work. This would work a lot better for strawberries. The strawberries don't have the skin on them. In order for me to really truly test this out, it would have to be with this strawberry. Am I going to do that at a later time to show you if it actually works? No, I actually don't really care that much. This was about the amount of care that I had in me. I am pleased with it. <sighs> Give the video a like for honesty. Sometimes necessary. Not complete flop, also not a total slay, so. Next one. My neighbor said, hey, I saw this on TikTok and apparently it's really hard to find, but I found it. I'll just swing. 
Time's up. Let me just tell you, this is so convenient. You just set it there and eat. And then take a drink. Who is the audience for this? I don't really know. I would have thought nobody is the answer because I don't know anyone past the age of three would be interested in this. But then Stanley Cup is insanely popular. So this is a bowl for your snacks and this is a cup for your drink. <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory. Well, I'm gonna put it together at least. Let's see how we feel about it. So we've got some Pepsi. Just let's just fill it up all the way. I will say one thing. If it's a whole lot in there, that was half of this bottle is in here. That's pretty impressive. Sometimes you do need a cup like this. And then we're gonna put this in here. This doesn't feel like the highest quality, I'm not gonna lie. So if you're looking at this thinking that doesn't look like the highest quality, yeah, that, that makes two of us. And then I'm gonna fill this up with some tackies. I wish I was making this up, but this is the purpose of this. Yeah, this is as ridiculous as it looks. This is a little bit silly, a little bit embarrassing. I'm not someone who gets easily embarrassed. If I'm living my best life, I don't really care what you think or what your opinion is. I would be a little bit embarrassed of this one. What if it's a sleigh? Let me think, okay. I'm watching a movie, let me get comfortable. Wait, give me a second. Okay, I'm watching a movie at home and I'm like, oh, let me drink something. I smell Takis. This is a Takis smoothie. And now I'm hungry. So let's reach for the snacks. Wait a second, because I think they might be onto something. This was strangely enjoyable. That felt really natural. As it turns out, I am an idiot. I was judging. I love this. I can see myself going to the movies and actually bringing one of these filling it up with popcorn, and I don't really care what you have to say, because this is practical, and sometimes that's what we need. I love this, I changed my mind. The thing about me is I always keep an open mind, a lot of prejudgment. This is 100% approved. This is also probably not very expensive, so you can't expect the best quality. It does the job, and I want one of these anywhere I go. This in the car, next level. Cereal on top, milk in the bottom, a deconstructed bowl of cereal. You're welcome. This video was actually a continuation of my TikTok advent calendar video. So if you've missed that, please go watch that. But I really hope you enjoyed this. You guys asked for it and I delivered. So if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on, especially because I've got a giveaway going on for all these products in this video. So if you wanna know more about that, watch the advent calendar video. But there is a big giveaway. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoy this and I will see you on my next video, which should be in one or two days. Bye bye.